My name is Chris Carrasco. Um, this is going to be a video on how to do a discharge for a 12-year-old Yorkie that's just had a dental propane. Um, for discharges, I usually prefer to keep the patient um, away from the owner until I finish going over discharges just because I found that they don't generally don't pay attention. Um, so for this patient, um, I would start off with telling them um, anesthesia went well um, and was uneventful. Um, the patient was uh, pre-medded with midazolam and butorphanol. Both of those should um, don't usually are not usually very long acting, um, so they shouldn't have any long term side effects or anything with those. Um, after having general anesthesia, it is uh, normal for them to be very groggy for probably the next uh, about um, twelve hours. Um, 12 to 24 hours um, after anesthesia. Um, it's also not uncommon um, for them not to want to eat. Um, I usually tell owners to feed maybe a, a small amount, half uh, if even that of the normal amount of food um, whenever they get home that evening. Um, but it's not abnormal for them not to eat and not to be overwhelmingly concerned. Um, as far as diet, um, and then as far as, I'm sorry, as far as um, bathroom habits, um, it's not abnormal for them not to uh, defecate for up to 36 hours after anesthesia, um, just because a lot of the anesthetic drugs that we use slow down the GI tract, um, and so not to be concerned about that. Um, some of them may not want to drink for about the next 12 hours after anesthesia, and that's not abnormal either. Um, as far as uh, the procedure itself, um, I would just tell the owners that there were a number of teeth that had to be extracted um, and that we did use local blocks for some of them and so they um, they shouldn't have been super painful with that. Um, but as far as eating, um, they may need to consider a softer food, either wetting the food down or um, getting uh, wet food for at least the next couple of weeks um, until um, until their mouth kind of heals a little bit. Um, and then as far as um, follow-up care, um, usually, especially for uh, dental extraction, I know um, it's usually recommended for them to come uh, two weeks after, um, just so they can, there's usually not sutures that have to be removed, but just to check the actual site make sure that there's no uh, nothing um, abnormal with that. Um, and so to, to make sure that the owner schedule that. Um, and then as far as uh, medications to go home, um, the uh, I would just tell the owner as the patient got an injection of a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, which is Remedil um, at recovery. Um, also sending home Remedil and um, oral Tramadol for them to give for pain. Um, the Remedil doesn't need to be started until the, the day, uh, you know, tomorrow morning or the next day, uh, because there was an injection that was given at recovery. Uh, the Tramadol, um, can be started whenever, um, that night or, um, even the next morning if they don't think that they're uncomfortable, as well as an oral, uh, antibiotic, which is Clavamox, um, it's going to go home. Uh, to prevent from any infection from the extraction site. Um, Tramadol, uh, Remedil, and uh, Clavamox can all cause GI upset, um, so I always tell owners to make sure that they give, that, um, give them a meal and then give the medication after that. Um, it's also not abnormal. Um, I always like to, to forewarn owners that they can have a little bit of coughing um, for a few days after, um, and that's usually just from irritation from the endotracheal tube, um, and that's not abnormal either. Um, things to monitor at home um, and to be concerned about, um, again, and again, I just like to go over the, the things to not be concerned about again, um, which is the not defecating up to 36 hours, not wanting to eat um, for about the next uh, 12 to 24 hours and just being a little more groggy. Um, but things to monitor for are if they're not defecating past that 36 hour mark, um, if they're not wanting to drink um, past about uh, 12 hours, um, and if they are um, showing any signs of vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, anything like that um, past uh, about 24 hours. 
um, at least for the lethargy, uh, vomiting and diarrhea, um, as long as they verify that it's not caused by the medication, um, then that's something that might need to be addressed as well. Um, and also to monitor um, their kind of their gums uh, and their mouth from the incision site um, and make sure that there's no kind of blood or um, like purulent discharge or anything like that that's coming from there. Um, and if so, to have that addressed. Um, and then always, I always give them um, the emergency numbers. Um, obviously our emergency clinic here is the UF Small Animal Hospital emergency number, um, which is written at the bottom of our discharges. Um, and uh, the address as well, which is usually on um, our paperwork as well, since the hospitals are affiliated. Um, that's it.